this morning and uh, bless me and uh, let me know that through our, uh, our media uh, ministry that uh, I heard from one of my high school classmates that uh, has been uh, on my mind for many years, uh, Brother Stanley Jones, a young man who was a stern, no-nonsense, upright fella who was always challenging me to do better. And I, I have not seen him since high school. And I have longed to know how Stanley was doing, uh, knowing wherever he was, uh, that surely he was living the upright life that I have always known him to live. And the Lord willing, I'll be able to get some information from Mr. White uh, to get in touch with him. Uh, uh, Mr. White, you, you got something you can add to that? Well, uh, yes, he reached out to the uh, church website through Facebook mm -hmm. and uh, invited to uh, the questions I asked you. He wanted to know if you were from South Carolina. Oh, 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 yes. I, I'm from Morgan City, Louisiana, class yes. of 1963, something Williams High School. Yes, that's, that, right. that, that's the one in the same town. <laughs> And he wanted to know, this is you. I just want to know. All so, right. All right. I have his contact. Okay. I'll forward it to you. Uh, okay. Well, we'll I'll be getting in touch with him. Uh, this morning we have uh, shared the word of God with us is uh, Minister Michael Huff. Uh, Michael Huff uh, certainly is no stranger to us. He has been on the mission field for the better part of three decades, and uh, it's certainly uh, a blessing to us, a blessing to us to have been able to know him, a blessing for us to have been able to support his ministry. Uh, it's not every church that has the opportunity uh, to be able to support someone that is on the mission field and certainly the foreign mission field is something that uh, is a challenge beyond most of us and most of our comprehension and uh, Minister Huff has graciously embraced this call down through the years at, 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 a, at a great cost to his personal sacrifice and I, Minister Huff I thank God for you and I pray God's richest blessings upon you and upon your family. I admire the way you've uh, been steadfast and immovable. I admire the way that God has blessed you and your family uh, through the great struggles that we know that you've been through. Uh, I am blessed to know that your family is here with us this morning, his wife Amen. and his two daughters. Uh, 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 his daughter and his two children is what I meant to say. His two children. Uh, Micah, who is the, the, the oldest one, and uh, his lovely daughter, uh, Melody. I looked up this morning and saw Melody, and she was glowing like a little angel. I said, that over there. <laughs> Good to see you, Melody. Uh, Melody is a student at Boston University. Uh, we, we pray God's richest blessings upon her pursuit. Um, Micah uh, is a recent graduate of what's what's the name of your school again, Micah? Uh, Mercyhurst University. Okay, in Pennsylvania, and uh, he is looking to move on to uh, pursue his career. And we ask that you will keep him in prayer and God will bless him guide him. There's no uh, doubt in my mind that God has great things in store for him. And uh, if he's got any of the steadfastness in him and a movement in him that his father has uh, 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 portrayed to him, it's going to be well with him. So we thank God for uh, Minister Huff and his family. And uh, not to uh, overlook his very lovely wife, Bella. Amen. Amen. Always got a smile on her face. And 
just because she's always got a smile on her face doesn't mean that she too hasn't made great sacrifices. That she too hasn't uh, endured the rigors of missionary life, but she wears it well. She wears it well, and uh, uh, I'll almost as a crown of glory that she she rejoices in our suffering. So we thank you, uh, Minister Huff, for you and your family, and thank you for coming and sharing with us this morning uh, in uh, this our humble abodes and uh, once again we are enriched by your very uh, presence here this morning. Uh, that's all I have in the way of immediate announcements we know this is a fifth Sunday, uh, missionary Sunday and uh, what greater time to have a missionary come and share with us and then on this fifth Sunday, Missionary Sunday. Uh, we have read off our uh, sick list and I want to uh, uh, redo that. Um, and last but not least, we want to acknowledge our visitors as I look around. I don't really see any visitors per se. And Mr. White's grandchildren are here, Jervis and Kayla. Stand up, Jervis and Kayla. They, they're growing up on us. They yes, used to be little kids. Hey, man, look at Jervis. Yeah, there, there was almost touching the ceiling. <laughs> Happy to have you with us. Uh, Kayla, who's been uh, hanging out with Donna Edwards and uh, rubbing shoulders with uh, great folks. Good to see you, Saints. Uh, keep up the good works. Hey, man, you may be seated. And then uh, Minister Huff's family. Mentioned. Um, that, that, that's all that we have. Uh, I see Dennis White just stole somebody's baby up there. <laughs> she, she can come up with more babies than you know, <laughs> uh, they, 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 they not sending your messages. <laughs> and she say, no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, so, uh, the, that, that reps out our rest our, our announcements for this morning at this time we're going to look to our uh, choir for selection as we continue uh, the Birch family had indicated the call me this morning and indicated that uh, there were Deacon Birch at least that he was being bothered with his sinuses but he said uh, that Lord will he would be here for the 11 o'clock service uh, see him so let's please keep them in prayer also.
took that up and said, wow. That's your sister. That was beautiful. Amen. Yeah. Those voices blended so beautifully. I thought it was angels singing over there. Uh, while we were making our announcements, I, I got so carried away, I forgot to acknowledge our our brother over here, Minister Kelly. Amen. Uh, Lord, Amen. We've already expressed our joy when we saw him walking the Lord yes, yes. this morning. Yes. And Minister Kelly, but we miss you, man. Yes. We miss you, Minister Kelly. Yes. You especially your pastor, I miss you, man. Yes. We're so glad to just have you in our presence. And, and uh, he's always got something to cheer us up. So uh, uh, we, we know that God has watched over you. You know, we know that he's had his hand on you. I spoke to him just yesterday, and he didn't even let me know that he was going to be here this morning. And, the Lord, and I'm so happy to see you, brother. And I pray that God will continue to bless and keep you. And certainly our prayers go out for uh, your dear wife, Wanda, uh, who, who has so faithfully labor to, to restore you to your health. Amen. And uh, uh, here, here she stands in the need of prayer herself. So, so let us be in prayer for Sister Wanda. And uh, his lovely daughter Donna, who was with us this morning, who's also uh, done much to help him uh, get back on his feet again. Uh, we come to the time of our offering. As we prepare to take off and let's remember that often time is not a social time. Uh, Sister White's little baby said, get on with the preaching. Amen. So, uh, uh, those of you, if you need an offering envelope, you should be able to find one in the back of the seat in front of you. Uh, members of New Jerusalem, we ask you to please giving you offerings to use the offering envelopes indicated uh, plainly your name and the amount in your envelopes. You've been very faithful to Jerusalem and you've given down through the years uh, and I pray that you will continue to give and I, I know because of your giving God has blessed you and he will continue to bless you. Uh, he, 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 what he says he will do so. Let us not grow weary in well-doing. Um, those of you who are tithing, I thank you for it. Those of you who uh, would like to tithe and would like to get some encouragement and some prayer on that situation and you'd like to talk with me, I invite you to give me a call. Uh, and I'll be glad to uh, talk with you, meet with you, whatever uh, you desire uh, to aid you. So, it's a good thing. Trust me, it's a good thing. Uh, at this time, uh, Deacon Urban White, Chairman Deacon Board, is coming to receive the regular offering. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits towards me? I will take the cup of salvation and I will call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. Give and it shall be given unto you. In measure, press down, shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. The same measure with which you measure. So it is barely shall reap. Also sparingly. He who so it bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man has a purpose in his heart, so let him give not grudgingly nor of necessity. God loves a cheerful giver. What does it profit a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul? 
what can a man give in exchange for his soul? The Lord is my shepherd, and shall not want. Maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me besides the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Thou art with me. I rod in thy staff. selection, the next voice that you would hear will be that of our man of God that will come and share with us for this morning. Uh, Minister Michael Hub, I ask that you will please receive him prayerfully. I should say, I should say minister and missionary of Michael Hub. I ask that you please receive him prayerfully uh, following the next election.
mic on. Okay. Is that good? Can you hear me? Oh, can you hear me? Testing one, two, three. Hi. <laughs> okay. Okay. Amen. Hey. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's good to be here. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. And as Pastor Hennis said, we've been in Suriname for a little while. along with me as I give a little testimony in turn on what has happened. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. And also the text which I'm going to use concerning um, this morning. Mm -hmm. My heart is kind of um, should be heavy. It really should. Well, what the Lord has done for us. Yes. What he's doing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And at the same time, um, mm. you feel a little bit discouraged as when I'm looking at Christians mm. and looking at us as the Lord called us to be mm. and how much we are not. Mm. Mm. But one of the things I like to speak in reference to, which doesn't get spoken that much because of I believe um, in the U.S. we have a, a mindset about a lot of things. We hear about it. You probably go on YouTube and see certain things. And that is about demons and demon possessions, well, demon oppressions. Well, when we, we were in Suriname, I was just one of the things that we tested on gift. We, I was, a brother asked me to say, um, he had a church he wanted to preach there and nobody was coming that much. And the Pentecostal church, mm -hmm. and so we went there and we preached. And he asked me if you can help me out. I had a we had a study that we had that we wanted to preach. So I ended up almost we almost built, ended up building a church, building relationships with people. Well, well, well. And and so he was um, pastor there. He had another church in, in Crown again, and his wife was also co-pastor with him. Yeah. So um, so that was interesting. And so we, we got to the point where we built the church, and then we got building people, and then all of a sudden I called and said, look here, um, Brother Hira, you're going to have to, people, you have people here to be baptized. He said, what? He said, yeah, you got people to be baptized. And I don't want to step in somebody's work, well, and um, a problem arises. And so I said, yeah. uh, he said, well, you take care of it, you take care of it. I said, okay. So I took, so we take care of it, we went at night, we, discussed baptisms, we talked about what the Lord does, with about seven or eight of them that we talked, we met, and it was like a little family coming along. Mm -hmm. And so we got to the point where I'm kind of, I'm not pushy, but I feel like I want to take advantage of the opportunities that we have. And so I said, uh, Brother Hitter, they're ready to be baptized. He said, oh, he said, yeah, everything's set. We talk, they understand what's going on, and we're ready to be baptized. So they end up being